Today at the ceremonial signing of the Academic Recovery and Accessible Learning or ARAL Program Bill, we embrace the challenge that is as pressing as it is profound. We gather to provide every child in the country with the education that they deserve and that they have a right to, empowering them to shape a future where learning not, is not a privilege, but it is a right and where every young mind can flourish. In 2018, the prog Program for International Student Assessment revealed that a staggering 75% of Filipino learners fell below the minimum proficiency levels in reading, mathematics, and science. This disheartening trend remained alarmingly the same, highlighting the urgency of the learning crisis that we confront today. It is imperative, therefore, that we acknowledge this massive challenge, determine the necessary steps, and prioritize the implementation of learning interventions. On this note, I extend once more to our legislators a, a vote of appreciation for turning our ideals into concrete measures to further pushing our educational system forward. With the signing of the ARAL law, we embark on a definitive journey to champion the right of every Filipino child to quality education, ensuring as well that it is accessible to all. At the heart of this law lies a steadfast commitment to a free and effective learning intervention for our learners from kindergarten to grade 10 within our public education system. It is available for those who are re-entering school after a hiatus, those grappling with proficiency in reading, mathematics, and science, and those who encounter challenges in passing examinations. Qualified private basic education institutions will likewise receive analogous support for similarly situated learners. Indeed, the ARAL program seeks to confront the broader challenges of mastering essential competencies and recovering from the learning loss through structured tut tutorial sessions. Beyond stimulating academic achievement, this also will reignite each student's passion and enjoyment for learning. Here, our mission extends beyond mere knowledge acquisition. We aim to foster the empathy and support that every learner rightfully deserves. Aligned with the existing policies of the DepEd, the ARAL program will, will nurture learners holistically fortifying their academic foundations and enhance their resilience in the face of adversity. By honing their essential learning competencies, we can equip our students with the foundation skills required to become visionaries, critical thinkers, problem solvers, qualities essential to the progress of our nation in this modern world. Learning, after all, is not confined to the four walls of a classroom. The diverse experiences that our learners encounter, encounter will endow them with the wisdom to navigate life's complexities, the courage to venture beyond the familiar, and the confidence to confront every challenge head on. Our tutors, teachers, parateachers, pre-service teachers, serve as a foundation of the learning process. And your role is crucial in imparting the values and knowledge essential for the next generation to succeed. To bolster this vision, we are engaging public telecommunications entities to collaborate with us by providing free access to DepEd exclusive learning management systems. This will encompass a multitude of tools from web-based applications and online educational platforms to digital libraries and other knowledge hubs, fostering continuous learning for both students and educators. Recognizing the needs of disadvantaged learners and their tutors, this law provides subsidized data plans to facilitate access to the resources required for academic success. Moreover, a portion of the mandated allotment in each broadcasting network's daily total airtime will now be utilized for supplemental tutorial videos on essential learning competencies as part of their duty to serve the public good. Lastly, any donation, contribution, or grant made to the ARAL program through the DepEd, whether in cash or in kind, shall be exempt from the donor's tax and considered allowable deductions from the donor's gross income. 
This initiative is designed to encourage support and partnership from individuals and organizations dedicated to uplifting the quality of education in the Philippines. The success of the ARAL program hinges upon the active participation of the teachers, the tutors, the parents and guardians, local government units, national government agencies, and of course the private sector. To our teachers and program tutors, I urge you to approach our learners with understanding, teach them without bias and guide them with compassion, for they carry the better future that we all strive for. Employ teaching methods that resonate with their unique needs, their dreams, their aspirations. Your role is not only to educate, but to innovate and to inspire. To parents and guardians, I encourage you to maintain open lines of communications with your children's tutors. Monitor your child's progress and extend to them the support they need to succeed in life. To our LGUs, I call on you to help cultivate a safe and conducive environment for in-person tutorials. Collaborate with the national government in promoting this program by engaging potential tutors, referring qualified candidates, and motivating parents to involve their children in this endeavor. And to our national agencies, you play a vital role in ensuring the smooth implementation of this very important initiative. Promulgate the necessary rules and implement the needed steps to operationalize this law. At para sa ating mga kabataan, hangad ko na gamitin ninyo ang programang ito upang makamit ninyo ang tagumpay. Bilang ama, edukasyon ang pinakamahalagang pamana na maaari naming iwanan sa inyo. Walang material na bagay na makakatumbas sa halaga ng edukasyon. Ito ay uhubog sa inyong kakayahang harapin ang anumang hamon ng buhay at makapaglingkod ng tapat sa ating bansa. Let us collectively aspire to build a Pagong Pilipinas, one where education serves as the cornerstone of our nation's progress. Through our integrated efforts, we can create a future where no learner is left behind and every Filipino child can flourish in an increasingly complex world. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas.